I literally tell myself, if I woke up, I'm not done. It's about investing in yourself. Uh, you know, a lot of times we are always trying to kind of reach out to everybody to to give us that validation or to tell us it's okay or that we can do it. But it really starts with you. And, and if you believe in it, then it's about you being consistent with it, continually practicing it and researching it, figure out what you can do to take it to whatever that next level might be. Take it easy on yourself and know that you're, yeah, you're up against a lot. Some people aren't going to be welcoming to you it being in those rooms, but that doesn't mean you don't go. That doesn't mean you don't hold your head high. There are going to be instances where you're going to feel that, but you know what? That's not your problem. You just focus on the solution. You focus on getting to the end. This is for you. You have never had a you season. You've never had a season where you simply focused on you. You, you've never had a season where you said, you know what, I got to figure me out. I got to figure out what I love, what I don't like, who I am, who did God create me to be. Honey, real quick, I want to ask somebody, how much longer are you going to wait? Hmm? I said, how much longer are you going to wait? Honey, you out here watching everybody else do their thing. How much longer are you going to wait to do yours? How much longer? Honey, you got all these big ideas but your excuses are bigger. How much longer are you gonna wait? Honey, the world sitting here waiting on you. Honey, can't nobody else believe in you more than you believe in yourself. How much longer are you gonna wait? Honey, you have all these great ideas and you even know how to start. But how much longer are you gonna wait before you do? Honey, what you gonna keep putting it off for? I, I don't know, and listen, it ain't my business. But what I'm asking you is how much longer are you gonna wait? Huh? How long are you going to let that fear keep on holding you back? How long are you going to let other people's fear keep holding you back? How long are you going to wait? I want you to hear me and I want you to hear me very clear. Uh, you know how you feel like you have no idea what you're doing, right? Honey, you feel lost. You feel stuck. Honey, you feel like it ain't ever going to happen. You feel like you don't know what your purpose is. Uh, you feel like financially you just can't get it right. Relationship, you just can't get it right. All the things that you feel like you're failing at. Honey, your story is loading. Do you understand that? Your ministry is loading. Your film is loading. Your book is loading. Do you understand? You will have a story to tell. All the things that don't feel well now, your story is loading. It's part of your process. It's part of the story that you will tell one day. Okay? You just got to keep showing up. All the pieces will soon fall together. All right? I love you. Ooh. Ooh. I'm excited for somebody. I'm excited about the stuck feeling that you have right now because one day, honey, you're going to be able to tell somebody else, baby, I was stuck one day. I was stuck one day, honey. One day I was lost, baby. One day that I didn't know what I was doing, but that's going to be your ministry, right? That's going to be your story. That's going to be your book. That's going to be your film. That's going to be your workshop. That's going to be your conference. Do you understand that? Honey, your story is loading for your good. All right? Honey, so don't you worry about this temporary time. Embrace it. Get excited about the fact that you have no idea what you're doing right now. Because one day, you will know exactly what you're doing. And you'll look back on this and be like, my story was loaded. Don't think that because it hasn't happened, it won't happen. Sometimes it don't happen because you ain't ready. Sometimes it don't happen because the world ain't ready. Sometimes it don't happen because you're praying for the wrong thing. You're praying for less than you want, but you're asking what you think is available. You can't trick the universe like that. Sometimes it hasn't happened be be because the, 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 the situation and the time ain't right. So if you're praying for something, working for something, waiting for something that hasn't happened, don't think that it won't happen. Just recharge and renew your vision. No to the things that don't honor you. No to the things that don't bring you joy. No to the things that don't bring you peace. And you don't have to explain your no. You got to have a hundred and one different ways to say no. And your no matters. Don't back up on your no. Don't draw your line in the sand, and when somebody crosses it, you back up and draw another line. No, stand on your line. Stand for your no, and stand for your yes.
place when you matter you stand in your no and for your yes no one has the right to tell you or give you value. You already have value. It's a value that you believe you have that is your power. How you see yourself affects every area of your life. A high value woman is self aware. She's able to take personal accountability. An excellent woman does not blame others for her mistakes. An excellent woman is not a person that hasn't gone through anything in life. It's a person that has gone through life, been able to take the lessons and been able to take the stones that people threw at her and build something great. I want you to know that there is nothing that is happening in your life that is designed to take you out. That thing is designed to birth the best version of you. My girl, my sister, you are the woman for the job. When the enemy tried to make me feel nervous, I told the enemy, you can't have my mind today because I'm the woman for the job. I'm going to do flat-footed what God has called me to do because I'm the woman. I'm the woman for the job. I'm the woman for the job. Somebody's got to start prophesying over that situation that's trying to tell you you're not going to make it. Honey, I'm the woman for the job. I'm going to raise that child anyway. I'm going to start that business anyway. I'm the woman for the job, baby. The only one for long, not for long, not for long, not for long. God says, I'm going to bring you your tribe. God says, I'm going to bring you your people. God says, I'm going to put you at the table where somebody understands the power that you're trying to get out of you. God, you put power in me, but I need to be around someone who understands the power I'm trying to pull out of me. I need an environment where somebody speaks to my power. I need a friend of someone who speaks to my power. You're in this room because I speak to your power. I don't put power in you. Only God can do that. But I know how to call it out of you because I got power working down on the inside of me. And when I say come forth, what I mean is come forth power. If you know that God has called you to be in a certain place, no matter what happens, no matter who doesn't believe in you, no matter uh, people who don't think you're capable or good enough, you know that God's called you to that place and so you know you're going to win no matter what. I remember being around 19 and like really processing like I'm not her and she's not me and what we bring to the table is completely different mm -hmm. even if we read the lines the same way mm -hmm. we look different we give different essence we have different energy we have different life experiences where we're coming from is is so vastly different and just being able to process like the reality of what's mine is mine nobody can take it from me Absolutely. and what's hers is hers and I cannot take it from her yeah what you're doing now doesn't define who you are. Everything you do when the cameras are off, that's what defines you. So you have to be just as great on the camera as you are off the camera and vice versa. That means that if you have a good day like today, don't let this make or break you how you treat your family and your friends and other people off the camera, that's just as important. Right. Now, if something don't happen the way you want it to happen in your career, you do not go and cry and pout and think it's the end of the world. It's not. You hear me? Yep. Promise? Promise. I want to tell y'all to please do not give up on yourself no matter what. This is for everybody in this room. I want to tell you to please make it your business to follow your dreams because one day you will wake up and look around and your dreams will be gone and then you will be mad at somebody but be mad at your self. I don't know what is going on in your life but I know that it feels so difficult when you're going through it, but you will get through it. You will get out of it. There is always better days ahead. You know, I want you guys to be encouraged. I want you guys to know that God didn't promise us a, a problem-free life. We ain't never going to have that. You're never going to experience life to, and, and feel like, you know what, everything is good all the time. But there has to be something inside of you, even right now today, that decides you're going to win no matter, no matter what.
no matter what comes at you, no matter what was already said about you, no matter if you don't have your parents, no matter if you don't have family, you have to know and decide today, right now, that you are going to be one of the ones in this room that wins. And if you allow people to project their fears onto you, you won't live. What if I believe those people who told me that I, when I became pregnant in college that I wouldn't finish? I walked across that stage with my son on my hip and I collected my degree. I didn't hear the naysayers when they were like, you're too old to go to California. If you don't hit by 25, you're not gonna make it. I will be 46 this year. I am just touching the surface. So when you're told you're not good enough, you tell them, not only am I good enough, I'm more than enough. It hasn't always been easy, and there have been tough times, days when the phone didn't ring, as well as moments of uncertainty and of doubt. But what women like my mother, Betty Jane, and my Aunt Golden taught me is that there will be times when you seemingly face insurmountable obstacles but that's when you dig deep into your soul for the courage and the fortitude to keep going and to never to never forget that despite life's detours you are destined for greatness no matter what if it is meant for you it will not miss you as we say in Jamaica what is for you can't be on for you so you must believe in yourself you must really get up off of the sidelines of your own life and get in there and fight for you if you need permission to go I liberate you you see love liberates it doesn't bind to live your life in a way that you will not regret years of useless virtue and inertia and timidity. Pick up the, uh, the battle. Take it up. It's yours. This is your life. I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's time to become unrecognizable. It's time to become that version of yourself that you've always seen in your head but you've never been able to be her you've never been able to step into her shoes this is the season to go get her this is the season to evolve into her like become a version of you that you've never seen before watch life change when you decide that you're going to be exactly what you said that you want to be, there's a freedom that comes with that. You pay the price of work and discipline, but the reward 